Alright, so this is a stock Jeep Cherokee tie rod, and it is made out of fail. This is our new replacement for that tie rod. It's inch and a quarter, solid, 7075 aluminum. And the reason we use 7075 is because it can take a ton of abuse. We've shown in the, in the past how you can just slam it into rocks. <laughs> It flexes, comes right back to straight. This is going to be the, uh, the new solution for you guys that aren't going so hardcore that you need the big one ton stuff. So here's our testing rig. It's pretty simple. It's a uh, engine hoist. Got the tie rod there, the strap extension connected to the middle of it to our pull scale. So it'll give us uh, readings in PSI. We're just going to start jacking up on the uh, engine hoist and see when this thing fails. Looks like Cal's going to do the honors for us. Starting to bend already. And we are not even at 100 PSI. Now it's officially bending. Mm, there's 200. Hold on. It's got a little bend in it there. All right, keep going. Try and get this thing to focus. Keep going. So we are at 300. And that's got pretty significant bend to it. Yeah. All right, so we're at 300 now. Let's release the pressure and see if it goes back to straight. Kinda doubting it. Yeah, no, that is definitely bent. I would not make it off the trail without bending more. Absolutely not. So this is the new SFR 7075 aluminum replacement tie rod. And, uh, Beauty with 7075 is you can run it into things, it'll flex, it's got a lot of spring back. So I kind of expected to see it to bow here, but we'll see how it just springs right back to straight. There's the failure of the Cherokee stock. Keep going. 500. We're getting some bow out of it. Seven hundred. Keep going. All right, and there's eight hundred, which is where we saw the V8 ZJ bar start bending. Let's keep going. Did it max out at eight hundred? Well, we'll just keep going. Come on, Cal, put some gut into it. There's a lot of pressure on this thing. I'm going to try and break the engine hoist today. I think we're close to that. All right, so uh, that's off the scale by quite a bit there. That's probably 950, almost 1,000 PSI. Now let's see what happens when we release this. Right back straight again. <laughs> 